Hey! Hey! I'm Mr. O, here with another. Oh, wow! Moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. I love things that glow in the dark. It always seems so magical. But we know it's not magic, but science that makes it glow in the dark. In fact, there are lots of ways to make things glow in the dark. In this case, we're using a black light. You may have seen these before in haunted houses or at certain exhibitions on rocks. But how does a black light work? Well, it all comes down to light. Visible light, the light that humans can see, is broken down by colors. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. But there are other kinds of light that we can't see directly. One of these is ultraviolet, or UV light, which is the light generated by black lights. UV light, when it strikes some substances, causes these substances to release visible light. Before we begin, remember, science is fun, but it can also be dangerous, so always have a responsible adult helping you. In the case of visible light, some of the light is absorbed by dyes and some is reflected back. The reflected light creates colors we can see. There are some dyes that appear one way in visible light, but different under UV light. The UV light from our black light is absorbed by the dyes, exciting them into releasing energy in the form of light we can see. We see the same effect with certain rocks, some kinds of toys, and some highlighter pens like we're using for our drawings. Dollar bills have a fluorescent strip to help against counterfeiting. White and some other color clothes glow because of whitening agents used in laundry detergents. Even our teeth and fingernails glow because our bodies contain phosphorus, which is why forensic scientists use black lights at crime scenes to look for evidence. So go get a black light and try some things out around your house. You can usually buy them in party stores, especially around Halloween. And it's a little hint, if you wait till after Halloween, they're usually on sale. Now, one thing to keep in mind, although it doesn't seem like it's producing a lot of light, it's laying out a rather large amount of UV rays. Under normal circumstances, it won't bother you, but if you stare at it for too long, you can harm your eyes, just like any bright light source. Now, if you excuse me, I've got a little more art to enjoy. <laughs> This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>